Yep. So today, I'm going to be making you a funky little pencil project. I haven't done a pencil project for a while. Oh, yes. So I don't know what I'm going to be doing yet, but I've got sort of an idea that I kind of want to make it a little bit crazy. I bet you're wondering what I'm up to. <laughs> I have no idea. This is the tricky part. It's kind of a bit like that game. What's it called? What's it called? Jenga. Okay, so this is what we have <laughs> created. Uh, no, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, but it'll come to me. I've got an idea, sort of like a little sparkle. Oh boy. But, <laughs> don't know, don't know. But anyway, what I need to do now is knock up some entropy. Come with me. Right. So we're going to knock up some entropy. I'm going to use the fast hardener on this because what I'm going to be doing is not putting in a lot of it. I just want to kind of seal it all up and get it all bonded. Know what I'm saying? easy to mix this stuff, you just gotta calculate 43 of B per 100 grams of A. Simple. So here it is folks, today's sponsor is Raid. Shadow Legends. If you don't know about Raid yet, check this out. Raid's gameplay is absolutely awesome. Now what I love about Raid is it's got 16 different factions, such as Orcs, Dwarves, Undead Hordes. Now I actually love the Dwarves faction because the latest bout of Syroth's shenanigans saw massive undead and demonic forces try to invade and crush the dwarven kingdom. Dwarves won, of course. <laughs> the fastest way to level up your champions is through farming the champion. You grind XP and get loads of silver and a few artifacts. So what's new in Raid? Well, they've recently just released the biggest update ever, the Doom Tower. It's a giant tower with 120 floors, a bunch of secret challenge rooms, and 12 seriously badass bosses to take on. I've been having a blast with this so far. Raid also just released a bunch of new champions, and there'll be even more coming this month. And with over 500 champions in the game now, trust me when I say there is a champion for everyone. This month's absolutely stacked in terms of events too. With loads of awesome tournaments all month, there's no better time to dive straight in. So folks, go to the video description, click on my special links just for you. And if you're a new player, you're gonna get 50,000 silver, 50 gems, five mystery shards, 
and one day XP booster, plus one energy refill and one clan boss key, plus one free epic champion, Shaman. Look at this new champion. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. All these rewards will be available only for the next 30 days and only for new players. This game is pretty epic, folks. You could also get all bonuses. Just scan the QR code. Links in the description. Right, so I've scattered a bit of resin in between all the pencils. Uh, I'm going to leave that overnight uh, and then come back. <laughs> And see what we got. <laughs> see you in the morning. This should just... Whoa. That's right, don't worry about those little ones that are falling out of there. There's going to be a few that's going to that's gonna fall out. <laughs> Maybe not, not that many, but... Right, so we've got this one over here. That's already glued up and ready to rock and roll. And then we have this one. You still don't know what I'm making yet, do you? <laughs> do you know why? Because I don't. Either. tangled little tangled lights in there <laughs> it's about the only time that I don't mind lights and wires getting tangled <laughs> do you ever put lights away or wires perfectly and then when you take them out a year later they're all tangled so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna put a little layer of resin in just on the bottom uh, just to sort of make sure that this mould that I've made is not going to leak. Um, as you can see, I've scrunched up the the lights kind of like just in the middle. I don't want any of them kind of coming over the edge or the side because I want to sand this back. So uh, that's not, not going to be any good if there's any wires in the way. Right, let's get some resin there. Now, as you know, I'm going to be using the Entropy resins. Whoa, nearly fell over. As you know, I'm going to be using Entropy resins for this. I want it to come out looking pretty cool. And Entropy is the job for this. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. We have a slight problem. I've been a little bit impatient. That's not like me. So. Oh, can you believe this? So the resin has reacted. Uh, it's got too hot. Um, and 
it's, well, done that. <laughs> Which again, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have put in so much resin. Um, even with all these barricades as well, it's still leaked. Look. Um, so, oh, I don't know what to do really. I'm pretty gutted, but I thought I'd show you. Um, however, we do have another one of these, and what I should have done really is do kind of half of this amount, leave it for a couple of days, and then do another half. Um, and you won't see the join, but I was kind of impatient i want to try and get this video done for you last week but uh it didn't happen so i sort of rushed it a bit which i shouldn't have done but i don't know maybe we should just try and see what we can do with this and compare it with the good one that we will continue to make we will continue on <laughs> bit gutted but we'll continue Right, we'll leave that there, uh, next to the radiator. And we'll come back to that when it's a bit more dry because it's still a bit tacky. In the meantime, we'll fill the other one. <laughs> Properly this time. Okay, so I've added in um, about five pints of uh, resin with the slow hardener this time. Last time it was about 15 pints. <laughs> so, uh, I've sealed it up as well with this tape as well. I've got this from Easy Composites, really great tape because it did have a few leaks last time. And I'll put a little bit more kind of uh, attention around this on the ceiling uh, and a bit of tape. I should have done that in the first place, don't know why I didn't. Hopefully that will hold out. So yeah, so there's five points in there now. That's probably I don't know, maybe nearly halfway full, but not quite. So this might take three pours, but I'd rather do it slowly than mess this one up. Because even if we end up with one really cool pencil feature, <laughs> funkadelic light or whatever this is going to be. Um, then, you know, that's better than none, isn't it, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, all right, two is cool, but one is better than none. Right, still not enough, but I'm gonna leave that and let that cure for a couple of days and then I'll come in and do a final pour make this three layers I think just to be on the safe side because I don't want to ruin it <laughs> oh no I've cut the wire you what the French call les incompetents what? Don't worry, we've got one more left. In the wire. Look, I've sanded through the wire. <laughs> oh no! How did I not even see that? I've been so careful throughout the whole of this project because I ruined the first one, and now there is no way that I'm going to be able to connect that wire up. And I've just plugged it in. And it doesn't work. There's 
no way I'm gonna let this project fail us. No way. We are gonna have to improvise. Oh yes. <laughs> Okay, we're almost done with this project. The question is, have I saved it or not? Considering. Now, as you know, I don't normally blow my own trumpet. But on this occasion, oh, oh, I really thought on numerous occasions that this project was a goner. <laughs> I'm so impatient. If you don't know already, I am very impatient. Um, and that kind of leads to things like me pouring too much resin in. Um, <laughs> This project was kind of doomed from the beginning. But again, I saved it, I reckon. Well, I think I did. Anyway, what do you reckon? I shouldn't have poured that much resin in the first one. I should have been looking where I was cutting on the bandsaw, cut straight through the wire. That didn't bother me so much because I was kind of, that, that one was actually no good anyway, but I kind of just wanted to see what we could make out of it. If we could still get it to, you know, do its thing. But that was a goner. We'll save that for another project, don't you worry. I've got a plan for that. And then, oh, the other one. Everything was going so well, and I just sanded it through the water. And there's no way of me getting inside that at all now without kind of, you know, digging into it. It would have been a mess, trust me. So... <laughs> I improvised and we come up with that and I think that turned out pretty well. It kind of goes to show really that things don't always go your way in every walk of life to be honest. But if you just persist and keep persisting, which is what I did with this one. Now don't get me wrong, I did almost feel like just chucking this one away and I wasn't even going to show you. But after I sat down, had a coffee, and I just thought to myself, you know what? I'm not gonna let this defeat me. This was like three times I sat down. Um, and, you know, with a bit of encouragement as well from the wife, um, 
I got back up and continued with this project. And that is kind of, you can say the same for a lot of things in life, you know? Things don't always go our way. And there's always so many obstacles in the way. And you think things are going well, and then suddenly you cut a wire. <laughs> And that kind of leads you off into a different direction because once you cut that wire, you now have to go, what, well, a different direction. <laughs> but it doesn't mean to say that just because you've cut the wire that the whole thing is doomed. It's just not gonna go the way you originally planned. Plan A. So you have to improvise. So I drilled right through, made a little lamp up, LED lamp, and stuck that in there. The top of that does come off, so I haven't glued it on or resined it in or anything like that, because that lamp, that might fail at some point, you know, so you can just take the top off, and change the, the bulb inside. Happy days. But I think, you know, it looks quite cool. It was gonna be, they were both supposed to be two bedside lamps, but now there's one bedside lamp. <laughs> <laughs> so it's for a single person, as opposed to it was for a couple. You know what I'm saying? Well, I do hope that you enjoyed <laughs> watching this one. It was a challenge, to say the least. Um, but I enjoyed it, and it's a bit different. I haven't done one of these before. And uh, I know lots of people have made lots of different kind of lights and things, but this is a little bit different. It's a pencil light, come on. If you could share this video with your friends and family, that would be a massive help to me and this channel. Uh, and also if you could check out the links below, including today's sponsor, that would also be helping me and the channel out as well. It's a great sponsor and it's a great deal for those of you that love Raid. I also just want to say thanks to Entropy Resins for supplying me with all this resin. <laughs> I'm glad it kind of worked out at the end, so thanks guys. Stick around, we've got some really weird, cool projects coming up for you. These are really different as well, so you won't have seen anything like these before, trust me. I've got three of these in the bag, coming out soon. <laughs> they are definitely really crazy cool, weird. So stick around for those. Thanks to all my new subscribers that have come to the channel. We are so close to 800,000. Thank you so much. It means the world, so I really appreciate it. Don't forget, I'm on Instagram as well. I'm trying to get 50,000 followers on there if you haven't. Uh, follow me on there. Please check me out. I've got a personal Instagram and a Nick Zometi one. Please head on over and give me a follow. Tons of other links below where I get my music from and everything else down there. So please check those out as well. And thanks again for watching this one. I hope that I inspired you somewhat to pull out that old project that you haven't finished in the workshop that sat there on the shelf that didn't quite go your way. Grab it out. Improvise. And whatever it becomes, I'm sure it'd be pretty cool. Take care.